The dates of the Joint Cooperation Commission meeting are yet to be announced. So far, Kenya's relations with Namibia is largely concentrated in the fields of health and education with the aim to transfer skills to Namibians. The country has about 400 Kenyan nationals working as nurses, teachers, marine experts and engineers. The joint meeting would thus explore other areas of bilateral cooperation. We are going to have a number of high-level engagements between our directors and officers responsible for both Kenya and Namibia. And so we hope that we can have the Joint Commission before the end of the year. We are looking at uh, the blue economy uh, to draw on Namibia's uh, experience in the fishing industry. Uh, we will be hosting uh, the Global Blue Economy Conference in November and Namibia will be participating. It's the other message that I brought. We need to deepen that relationship. There are a number of other areas beyond uh, education and health, issues of agriculture and, uh, and research and development. Um, uh, and uh, we are also very keen to, to focus on, on issues of innovation. The two countries also want to expand cooperation on multilateral front between SADC and the East African Community member states, which are party to the Tripartite Free Trade Area Agreement signed in 2015. I have also brought congratulatory message uh, to the president on his uh, assuming the chair of SADC. Uh, we are keen to cooperate with the SADC region from a MESC perspective. You will know that we just signed the tripartite uh, free trade agreement and uh, we wish that uh, this forms the basis of the continental free trade area. So we are keen to deepen integration okay. across the region. The Kenyan government also expressed condolences to the Gurira family and the Namibian government over the passing of seasoned diplomat Theo Ben Gurirap a week ago. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.